everybody today I'm in my bathroom because I'm showing you guys a new hair tutorial um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a a version of a waterfall braid and a falling braid in one um, so the things that you're going to need are some uh, duck bill clips um, you can I've got these ones from Sally Beauty um, but I think you can probably find them anywhere that any place that sells um, hair accessories and stuff like that and a lot of them come in just the metal ones um, but these ones have little teeth on them so I like those ones they secure my hair a lot better because I have very very thick hair um, you're also going to need some hair elastics you can either use the clear ones and I think you can get I don't know how many are in a package a lot maybe a hundred in a pack for like five dollars or something like that at Walmart but um, I also have these brown ones that match my hair color and I got these ones from Sephora these ones are much more expensive um, but they last a really really long time they're really really strong and they I haven't broken any so far so these ones are really good um, and then also you're going to need just some bobby pins you might need these you might not but they're always good to have just in case um, so um, and also I like to start a lot of my hairstyles by back combing just because my hair is so thick and so heavy that I have a hard time to keep the volume at the roots so I like to back comb um, the sections of my hair to help get a better shape and so that my hair isn't so flat to my head uh, so I'm ready to get started and that's exactly what I'm going to do first is back comb my hair so let's start so I'm just going to start in the back hope you guys can see this and I'm just going to do little sections at a time because I find if I do sections that are too big it doesn't stay as well it just falls out um, so yeah I'm going to start with smaller sections and also if you prefer you can use um, a teasing comb or um, I also have a boar bristle teasing brush but I mostly always use this um, it tends to keep the the back combing in much better so I just use my regular hairbrush so just got that little section and then I'm going to take a thinner section but wider And I take both pieces together because when you're back combing this underneath layer, it's going to grab some of the hair from the first part and then they're going to stay together better. I just smooth it a little bit. And that's probably enough since I'm going to be having my hair up. And then I'm just going to do. Um, I'm just going to do the sides, so I'm just going to speed the video up for this part. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got a little bit more volume and my hair looks, in my opinion, much nicer. One thing I forgot to tell you guys is that um, I always like to have a little bit of body in my hair, so I curl my hair prior to doing this hairstyle. Um, just works out a lot better if you're going to have pieces that fall away from your face and stuff like that. It just looks a lot nicer if they have a little bit of wave to them, so um, do that first before you move on to these steps that I've already started. Okay, so like I said, I've got my hair already back combed on the top, not too too much because we don't want it to be too big and round. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our um, duckbill clips and we're going to section our hair off so that we have two sections. And this one's going to be sort of like if you were going to do an updo, so you take this part of your hair. Just sort of like a half updo. 
see that? And then, just going to clip it out of the way for just a moment. And then, what we want to do is keep this part separate from the top part, because this is the part we're going to be braiding, and we don't want the hairs to get mixed up. So just clip them, just like that, at the nape of your neck. And then I'm just going to take one of these and do it on this side. There. Now I've got all my hair clipped and I can let this fall down. So now we're going to start our braid and we're going to start our braid on the, on the um, bigger half of our part. So on this side. So we're just going to grab enough hair as though we were going to do a French braid. So about that much. And I'm going to start to braid it just as a normal French braid, just for the first few. And so you just keep pulling in side pieces into your French braid. So just do that a couple of times until you reach sort of this point. And then from there you want to check to see what pieces you want to pull down. Because it's better to pull the pieces down you want around your f framing your face right now before your braid gets too tight. So as you can see, I've pulled down the pieces that I want to have framing my face on this side. It's better to pull down more at this point than not have enough and have to try to pull it out later because you can always pin um, the pieces back with bobby pins if you feel like you have too much at the end. So now that we've done, we've braided a few times. Um, just as a regular French braid, now we're going to start to do the waterfall technique. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a new piece as though you were going to continue your French braid and instead of just adding two, you're going to drop that strand That you would be adding to and you're going to pull this strand over instead hopefully you guys can see sort of what I'm doing here so on this side you're just going to braid normally by adding in a piece And then on this side is where your waterfall technique is happening. So we pull this piece over, but drop the piece that you would be adding to, and then braid using that new section. What you're going to want to make sure of is that you're not confusing 
um, the pieces that you pulled down for your waterfall look with the pieces that you need to be putting back up into the braid. So if you want, you can clip those as you go. Like that. got it to this point here, it's difficult to bring the rest of the hair in from this side here, so I'm just going to finish it off as a regular French braid. And then just braid it down as far as you want it to go. Put it down all the way if you want, or you can leave a little bit of ends, and then just secure it with your clear or colored elastic. And then you just take your clips out. Now from here, you're going to want to loosen this up a little bit just so that it doesn't look too strange. And take out the rest of your clips. From here, you can see if you have, feel like you like the amount of hair you have down or you want to pull some back and then just decide what you want. You're going to pull some pieces back, just take them like this and then twist them and then kind of try to get them to blend in with your braid if you can. Sort of like that. You see that? Hit it. Then try to loosen it up a bit so you don't really see where the bobby pin is. And then you have a little tail here, just tuck that into the braid somewhere where you're not going to notice it. Okay, and then got here on this side, you just want to take a little few pieces down on this side just to even things out. And then from there you can just take a look at the back, see how you did. Section, I find that this section on my braid is a little too tight compared to this side, so I'm just going to loosen it. Just pull on the loops a little bit. And just keep working at it until it looks the way you want it to look. This is a casual hairdo, so if it's a little bit messy, or it looks like it's falling out a little bit, that's okay. Alright, so here you go. It's a waterfall 
falling braid. everyone so that was my waterfall style falling braid tutorial um, it's not quite the traditional way of doing a waterfall braid but if you guys want to see that then I can do a tutorial on that as well just leave me um, comments in the comment section of the video below if you guys did like this video please don't forget to give me thumbs up on it um, those likes really help to get my video seen by more people so um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video um, if you'd like to see more hair tutorial videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, you can leave those in the comment section too, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget that you can find me on Facebook and Twitter, and also my awesome blog. Um, I'll be leaving all of the information and all the links in the description of this video, as I usually do, so you'll be able to find me anywhere you want. I guess that's it for now, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Have an awesome day! Bye!